introduce yourself. My name is Scott O'Neill, and I'm a teacher here at TCIS. I teach English and Spanish. Oh, nice. Okay, I heard that you've been working on Speakplay. So, can you briefly explain what Speakplay is, and why do you think of Speakplay? Speakplay is, well, it caught my ear and my attention when uh, I was learning Thai initially, and I heard the way that Thai people say some expressions, and um, it kind of made me wonder how the language works, and I thought it was an interesting way to kind of uh, think about how language can, can be used to say certain things. So, uh, for example, Speak Play itself is the name of the document that I've yeah. used to kind of collect these phrases. And speak play in Thai, if you say put len, it's like saying just kidding, right? But yeah. if you take it word for word, literally it's speak play. And I thought, oh, that's kind of funny. So, you know, I started keeping, uh, keeping my ears open for other sayings or expressions that are kind of like that. So, for example, if I'm going home and it takes a long time because the car stick. Rotted. Rotted, means right. The so, bad. there's a lot of things that people sometimes, like Thai speakers, maybe they don't really notice. So I like to play a game with them sometimes. And I say, like, for example, um, I go down to the canteen and I forgot my card, so I have to use fresh money. Yen so. Yen so. so yeah, so and like sometimes, sometimes Thai people think it's kind of fun to, to play that way. That yeah, some, actually, some Thai speakers don't really notice about these, th these things. Right, right. But then when I bring them to their attention, they're like, oh yeah, our language really does work like that. That's interesting. So it's kind of, kind of funny. Like if I order lab, I might not want machine inside. Oh, you don't want... Or yeah. powder, raise flavor. MSG. Yeah, punctured rot. So uh, there are many, many expressions and I've asked for some help from my friends and students and people to kind of put them on the document when they think of them. So it's fun. Okay, uh, you like football, right? Yes, I do. Yeah, so how long have you been playing football? I've been playing football since I was about five years old, and I just grew up playing on teams in my community. And um, as I kind of went through high school, university, and then beyond traveling, I realized that um, football is just a great way to get together with people and meet new friends and stuff like that. So a lot of my experiences of meeting new friends is through football. Mm -hmm. uh, what is your favorite position? I play like a defensive midfielder or a central defender. Oh. Mm -hmm. So you like defense? Yeah. Okay, so what is your favorite team? My favorite team is Real Betis Balompié. Which is, some people know them just as Betis, which is uh, in the Spanish league. They're in the top division right now. And they're kind of a mid-table team. Sometimes they go a little bit higher, sometimes they go lower or even go down. Uh, so I've been kind of through the ups and downs with them, and it's, it's fun. Yeah, it's enjoyable. Yeah. So why don't you like the big teams, though? The big teams like Barcelona and Real Madrid are kind of annoying to me that their fans expect to win every game, and if, if they don't win, then it's a big catastrophe. And so any hint of imperfection is disastrous, and I just think that's... It gets old. For me, I like to see, you know, your, your team plays good some weeks. When they play great, that's like a special yeah. occasion. And when they play really terribly, that's also hopefully a special occasion in a bad way. But, um, but like if you expect so high with the great teams, when they win, you don't feel anything. Right. It gets a little, you get desensitized to winning. I, having said that, of course, you know, you want your team to be consistent and win. But, you know, for me, it's more, it's more human to see a team go through some ups and downs. And uh, having said that, I like some big teams, like I like Arsenal, who, well, they're having some downs these days. But yeah, yeah, well. Uh, so yeah, I, I follow some other teams as well. Oh. Okay, so um, how do you think about our school team, so, since you're the coach of our team? Well, we recently just came back from Chiang Mai where we successfully defended our championship from last year. And uh, so that's two years in a row that we've won the title up at the Prem Fall Classic football tournament. So I was really proud of the guys. Uh, you guys had a great tournament and it was a fun experience on and off the pitch. Everybody did a great job. So it was a great experience. And I think that for the students, there's a lot that can be learned by playing, but also just like participating on the team and 
uh, just learning how to work together and, and uh, I, I'm a true believer in the learning that happens through sports and how you can apply that to improve your life. Awesome. Um, and uh, just yesterday we played against Trail, who are always a tough team, and we had a really good game against them as well, and we drew 2-2, which is uh, not a bad result for us. Oh, yeah. But that, that's actually a very good result for us. Yeah, Because so they were the defending champion. Yeah, that's they're good. They're good. Okay, so you are here in Thailand for how many years? I've been living in Thailand since 2002, so... Um, so that's... What is it now? Uh, so yeah, 18 years almost. Yeah. So that's like a 17 lot in your years life. anyway. A big part in your life. It's a big percentage of my uh, life. Yeah. So why Thailand? Well, uh, actually, I hadn't planned on moving to Thailand. I was finishing up my training to become a teacher and um, was thinking about going back to Latin America and doing some work there because I loved my experiences in, in South America. But a uh, job opportunity came up in Thailand that I was like, oh, I was in a position where maybe I could try that out. And it was something totally new, which I, I've learned to kind of, well, I like to take a little bit of risk sometimes and, and try something that's new and exciting. And this is when I was single, so it was easier, easier to do that, to just go out on a limb and try something. And uh, I think that it's exciting when those things pan out. You know, it's a little bit scary sometimes to try something like that. but. Um, Usually there are big rewards that can come with it too. So, so like you've been in Thailand for like 17, 18 years. Mm -hmm. What do you find is the most difficult to adapt to our Thai culture? Difficult to adapt to Thai culture. Hmm. Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, maybe, well, there's, you know, sometimes there's, there's, some cases where you see evidence of corruption or things like that or but then again that, that exists in other parts of the world too including my home country and uh, in South America where I lived for some time and so it's not like I hadn't experienced that before but um, I don't know there's there's quite a lot of things but and some foods <laughs> Food. Some foods are quite it's different, like, and uh, I like, love Thai food, but there's some... Food. Like in Thai, like, the, the taste is just so high in every kind of food. I like spicy yeah. food, though, and there's a lot of good Thai food that's not spicy, too. So I'm, I'm pretty open-minded when it comes to trying some new things. So what's your favorite Thai food? My favorite Thai food is khao soi. Oh, so you ate that in Chiang Mai? That's Chiang Mai specialty. Beautiful. How about what Thai food do you not like the most? Thai food do I not like? Well, I love som tam, but I usually do not go for the pupala. That's, it smells. It's a little bit stinky, a little bit, you know. Sometimes if my friends or family are eating it, I'll kind of have a little bit just to, just to participate. Like you you could live with it. Right? I'd rather go with just a plain old som tam Thai, pick song mat. That's the way I roll. Mm -hmm. But you still can live with it. Like you don't need to like go far away from it. Right? You still could like smell it and eat it sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, but I, I wouldn't order it myself. So try compare your native hometown food and Thai food. Where I'm from, the food, usually the food is only spicy if it's food from other parts of the world. So I'm from Minnesota and uh, many people, like my parents, for example, they don't get too adventurous when it comes to spicy food or exotic type stuff. They try to keep it Plain. Pretty plain with casseroles and you know uh, pastas and things that can be really good, but but the know. taste is not that much. Mm. Not spicy, anyway. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you've been in Thailand for so long, and you speak Thai, like sometimes. So so. So I would. No no no! It's like uh, this. Hi. Cham kwao kam chao. What? <laughs> Okay, I, you know what? Forget that one. Get a new right. one. Yak yai, lai yak lek, yak lek, lai yak yai. Yak yai, yai yak lek, lek, lai yak lek, lai yak lek, yak lek, lai yak yak lek, yai yak. Lai na? Lai yak lai. Yai lai yak yai. Okay, move okay. on. <laughs> okay, we'll, so we'll like, handle that one in editing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like 
If you could tattoo a message to your arm, what message would it be? Tattoo of a message on my arm. Like one of those ones that people put there so yeah. they can read the script yeah. of something that's important to them. Normally I wouldn't do that, but uh, you know, some people go for that. But if you're asking what's like an important phrase for me or a mantra, I've got a couple that I think of, like when I wake up in the morning or kind of get my day going, or maybe sometimes before I go for a run or after a run or something like that. Um, but one that I think of sometimes is do good and be good, do well and be well, love and be loved. Oh, so that's your motto for your everyday life? For me, yeah. Like, uh, I mean, we could look at each one of those things because there's something behind each of those that I, that I think of too. But basically it's just be a good person, try to stay balanced and happy and healthy, um, do my best, and be kind. Okay, so yeah, that's all what we have to interview you. Thanks for coming, Mr. Scott. Thank you very much. Okay.